Long overdue, here are my thoughts on one of the two new Aussie operators released with Operation Burnt Horizon, Gridlock. Gridlock is a one-speed three-armor operator whose unique gadget is her tracks stingers. These are throwable canisters that essentially, once thrown, self-expand, producing spike mats over time that cover a wide floor surface area. These mats, when stepped on by defenders, do 10 damage, make a noise, and also considerably slow the defender's movement. To get rid of these track stingers, you can shoot, punch, or even blow them up with an impact or nitro. Gridlock's primary options are either the M249 LMG, that previously only Capital had access to, which by the way, now has a new unique ACOG scope with much clearer visuals, or the F90 assault rifle. As you might expect, the LMG has far greater capacity and, in fact, actually better damage than the assault rifle. However, the trade-off is that it is much clunkier to handle and has a lower fire rate. Personally, I prefer to use the F90, as the easier handling makes reacting in a firefight much easier and quicker, which for me is pretty important given that she is, in fact, a one-speed operator. She also has a choice in secondaries between a pistol and the Super Shorty, which is a pretty cute name for what is essentially a cut-down pump-action shotgun. The shotgun has a capacity of only three shots, however these can do a lot of damage at close range, as you might expect, and can also be used in a pinch as a source of soft destruction. If your team has plenty of soft destruction, however, or you choose to bring her breach charges over her smoke grenades, then you could maybe make an argument for bringing along the pistol, for that extra range and capacity. So those are briefly her details, gadgets and gear, which any other video could probably have told you, so what are my thoughts for Gridlock? Her gadget definitely seems pretty powerful. Whilst it does take some time to fully deploy and makes noise whilst doing so, both of these downsides can be played around or even turned into pure positives. For example, the long deployment time of her track stingers coupled with the noise they generate whilst deploying can be used to cover up friendly movement, which otherwise would make a more noticeable audio cue of a moving body. This is especially useful for Gridlock herself, given that she is, as mentioned, a one-speed three-armor operator, and therefore makes more noise than two or three-speed operators, which, if you didn't know, is how the weight system in Siege works. The more armor you have, the heavier you presumably are, and the slower and noisier your movement is as a result. So, whilst her gadget is being distracting and noisome, Gridlock can be more mobile directly as a result of this. The gadget itself, in how it functions as a blocker or delayer of enemy movement, is useful in a number of scenarios. The most obvious scenario where her gadget would be best is in a scenario where the diffuser has been planted and Gridlock can just cover the objective with track stingers and really make any attempt to retake the objective site a whole lot harder. But this is not the only time her gadget is useful by any stretch. It can also be used in separating the defender team, as Gridlock, if she can get between a deep roamer and the objective, can use her gadget to block off a couple of the main paths from the roamer's current position back to the objective. From here, the team can push the site and feel comfortable knowing that the roamers still alive will have a hard time quickly supporting their teammates on site. And if the roamers resort to using impacts on the track stingers to quickly clear a path through them, then that is a loud audio cue signaling to any nearby attackers their position and intentions. I've also heard a fair amount of criticism of Gridlock based on mostly the fact that she is a one speed three armor operator, and I both agree and disagree with it. I agree in the sense that, honestly, I would rather move about the map faster, which is clearly more important for attackers given their need to clear rooms, push around the map, and push into the objective eventually. This naturally demands mobility. However, I feel that when criticizing Gridlock for being one speed, you have to compare her to Fuse, who in my opinion is one of her closer counterparts. Fuse is also one speed and an attacker, However, he has the added penalty of a super slow gadget. His cluster charge takes time to place, activate, and then time to shoot out its cluster grenades. This is a super slow and clunky process that if done in the wrong position, can straight up kill the fuse who's often exposed whilst using his gadget. Of course, this is necessary because of his gadget's lethality, but it doesn't change the fact that it is a very slow and clunky process. At least Gridlock's gadget is self-deploying after being thrown, 
You push the button, throw it out, and then the Trax does its own thing, whilst you, as Gridlock, are completely free to reposition, fight, or whatever the situation might require. Gridlock's Trax singers are very low maintenance in that sense, and I feel this does make up somewhat for her speed armor ratio. She may be slow, but a gadget is quick to throw out, and this does help the situation. However, the speed of throwing her gadget does not mean you can really use it too aggressively, as, whilst deploying, it can be shot and easily destroyed early on by the defenders. But maybe this could be worth it if you want to find out where a defender is positioned in a room, as they are quite likely to shoot the deploying track stinger if you do use it aggressively. So, maybe there's some potential for mind games here. Maybe the question we need to ask ourselves is whether there's enough room for a gridlock pick in an attacking team. Often, in an attacking team composition, you will be wanting some form of hard breacher, sometimes two for redundancy, often an anti-gadget operator to help the hard breachers do their job against bandits or mutes or the like, and then often multiple forms of soft destruction will get picked alongside other forms of utility. Gridlock presumably then, if she does get picked, will be picked as one of those extra forms of utility. It's also worth noting that, as mentioned earlier, she can bring along smoke grenades, so maybe she could be an additional pick within certain glass-based compositions and strats. Outside of her competitiveness, I honestly find her playstyle really fun. As you push through the map, you're looking at choke points and hallways, thinking to yourself, is this an important path for defenders to take? And then you either throw down one of the track stingers or you don't. It's a cool way to see and think about each map in a different way to how you normally would, and honestly, I do really enjoy that process. So, all in all, a fun operator with a very interesting gadget. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.